attacking half. And coming forward for them is Stanley playing game number two. Goldsack in his fifth, Clark in his first. Placing it to Fraser, taking it wide for Thomas. His hands, he could be very important tonight. Dale Thomas, you fancy, relishes the big stage. He's on one right now. It is in flight, it is not bad, it is good enough, and the Magpies have the first. Now Pendlebury giving it back to Goldsack, a little casual with that. His opponent's got it now. Kirk just kneeing the ball forward. Heath Shaw, important player in this game tonight, with his pace and his confidence and skill. And Johnson's had it three or four times already. And he'll be boosted by that. He's got a fairly poor record against Sydney. Rocker always in pole position there. himself. And that was pretty poor concentration by the Swan fullback. 22 goals, 22 for the season for Anthony Rocker. To get back on the right side of the ledger and more importantly give the Magpies they start they want. Uh, Good to see where the umpire was coming from. O'Brien, well tied up by Matthews, and that's out on the full. So Sydney's pressure perhaps just starting to nibble at Collingwood as they put it out on the full twice. No, no, for that at all. Uh, 50 against Holland. Off the ground, he's been interchanged, and he made contact there with Luke Ablett, preventing his progress to the ball. And here it is. Ablett going to get up the footy. <laughs> Happy just to block the ball with not on the ground, so it's well, 50. Too so smart by game. half. It puts Ablett well within range. And Mick Malthouse will be fuming. Their only score so far was a rush behind. They now have a goal, courtesy of Ablett, the margin is nine points. Where they're going to lead, they hold their leads and then they finally break into space knowing it'll be kicked there. Yes, the replay showed the push wasn't in the back, it was in the side which was permissible. Barry, well tackled, support from Kirk and Schneider just bumping the kick out of trouble but they'll be back in trouble now. Burns, long ball, Pendlebury did it well! And we are looking at a player who in the next decade will be a star. He had an All-Australian to beat. He did it comprehensively, and he finished the job with Collingwood's third goal. The Swans have got the huddle, but they've broken too early because the player with the footy, Malcheski, was still picking it up out of the gutter. He likes to wait and find his man, Malcheski, when he kicks in. He went for McVeigh and also Bolton, but you can see the result. Burns is going to make Malcheski work as a defender, and Rocker timed his run superbly. And he got as close to goal, so he couldn't miss. And Joffa said during the week he was going to teach the Swans fans the art of barracking. <laughs> well, he's got plenty to barrack about tonight, Hutto, because uh, they are just playing super, super footy. Anthony Rocker came off a hard day and a disappointing day the week before. He's been fantastic so far. And their pressure again has just been enormous. Cloak leading up as he always does. Rocker calls for it longer. Burns goes wide for Didac. Ablett in his trail. Rocker says, kick it over my head. I've got the feel for it! Oh, he's got the taste for it! Anthony Rocker! What an amazing I am so mark. pleased. I am so pleased there was no free kick against Rocker for hanging early or getting that. You see Leo Barry. Well, he didn't he, use his hands, Wolsey. Leo Barry just tried to block the run of Rocker. Gee, you've got to pay that. No don't question. Say, don't say he used his hands, Hutto. No, he didn't. Oh, he, that's good. He absolutely, KB would have loved that. <laughs> that's what he's on about. That is a fantastic mark from Anthony Rocker. Have a look at the uh, look at Leo Barry. They're a bit dispirited, the Swans. And that will only make them all. Yeah, it's home. It's a goal. It'll only make them feel worse. It's in the rock contest itself, but around the ground, Josh Fraser will try to run Spider off his legs. Again, Pendlebury loves to just cleanly win from the contest, and he can motor when the occasion calls for it. Wasn't a kick to advantage on that occasion, but now, Dale Thomas, keep your feet and you will be rewarded!
And a terrific lesson here for Malczewski. If you decide to dive and go to ground, you have to take the mark. Because once you hit the ground, you're out of the contest. He went the diving mark, missed it, and out of the contest, Thomas Vantage. Are we witnessing a changing of the guard? A youthful, vibrant Collingwood running Sydney ragged for the time being. Now Adam Goods tries to halt the momentum. And Ablett somehow got out of a pocket. And delivers pretty well, but Lecuria nearly stole it. Grundy, good. Fosdyke now. And Sydney can press. They still have only one goal. Oh, and Kiefer, beauty. Superbly judged. You know, Luke, maybe this might be something that Sydney will take notice of, that you can't get the perfect pass all the time, that sometimes you do need to kick it to a contest and give your players a chance to use their flair. Yeah, it's a good point, Wills. It took something special. It was an outstanding mark from Ryan O'Keefe, and he won't miss. They have one goal and one rush behind. O'Keefe kicks their second. A long time in coming. 11 this is minutes. just about over. 11 minutes into the second quarter, Tim, was the last goal of the game, and that was by O'Keefe. Johnson took them on. Pendlebury, Lockyer, big curling ball, and well marked by Didak. Deadly Didak uses the right, kicks the goal. Swans are in deep now. He's talking about Goldsack and Stanley as well. They have been fantastic tonight. Ryan O'Keefe, but he didn't make the contact he wanted. Maxwell with Grundy, Hall and Wakeland. Good tackle by Hall. Oh. McVay and O'Loughlin is on the end of it. A la Nick Davis and whoever it was earlier. And O'Loughlin is plum in front. It was Rocker, Nick Davis, soccer to Rocker. And we see the soccer by McVay. And Michael O'Loughlin in front. The traditionalists might prefer to think the place kick is back. O'Loughlin kicks Sydney's third. Kick it long to nice Hall. Hit. Two and a half minutes left. That's where he goes. Wakeland's been frustrating him all night. Burns, well done. Quick hands to Maxwell. For the moment, Collingwood out of trouble. Didak, what a good mark. Didak to the wing. Stanley. Oh, look at this. They were a man down for a while. Cloak on his own. He'd much rather play on than have the set shot. And that's why. He finds the middle. Sixteen minutes since a Collingwood goal, and you would think now that even the Swans can't get back from here. And Barry Hall's taken just two marks and kicked one behind. It, it is partially the story of the night. Now, this is Bolton. It looks a bit more open in there, but the skills let them down in these slippery conditions. Look at Hall. Takes on all comers. Look at Barry Hall. He's uh, asserting his strength. And presence. Good on him. No, 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 you're not there. His hands just And that's what he's done on night walls. He's really just tried as hard as he always does. He's attacked yep. the footy, but uh, just for whatever reason, things just aren't falling his way at the moment. Mark's here. 20 minutes since the Sydney goal. Right on the mark. Yep, yep. Barry Hall not enjoying a great season overall. He kicked 41 goals at this time last year. And he might have just done enough with that one. He's broken the shackles at last space and their ability to spoil and uh, again from Anthony Rocker. Been a lot of stories of the night. <laughs> 8-14 to 62. 62 to 4-5-29. Richards. Now Schmidt. It's pretty open up there for Spider. He could stroll on from there, big spy, but he... <laughs> Two metres to the mark. Right now, that's Spider there. Everett then. He's only just given it enough. In fact, has he given it enough? He has. It's just crept over the line. To Goods. Go, go, and a few of Sydney's big guns are getting better. Schmidt. 
Oh, terrific smother. And almost a clean collect by Burns. Lecuria. It's all Sydney back there. Big advantage in numbers. Play. Oh, Rocker comes out on top for the moment. Goes for Thomas. Oh, geez, a comfort for the players against Rocker there. And yet Collingwood have come out with a shot at goal as Heath Shaw is having another go. The night started with a Dale Thomas goal. If he kicks this, this will be the knockout blow. It's coming back. I reckon the Magpies are there. This has been a mighty performance. Overwhelming attack. Bolton's got that in mind. Now oh, that it's aimless. O'Loughlin didn't give away the free. Good. A few party tricks through the middle. And it's a vacant square. The crowd needs something to cheer. And they can cheer that. A rare moment in the sun for the Swans. Even if it is not. Yeah, well, the kick uh, that came into the corridor was one that they just had to kick. There wasn't even a Sydney player there. And Craig Bolton said, I can't keep going down the line. We've done that all night and we haven't scored. So he just popped into the centre square. And what happens is the contest uh, forms, Goods reads it well, kicks a great goal. This is the risk football they need to play if there's any sort of chance. And he's been put down after disposal. Free kick and advantage. Didac, deadly disposal. Good spoil by Bevan on Holland. Great save by the Swans. Richards versus Thomas. This could be dangerous for Sydney. He is always dangerous. He is deadly dangerous. The Magpies are more than home. Fourth goal to Dale Thomas. He conjured this. And after consecutive grand finals, this is proving to be a troubled year. Good movement of the ball here by the Swans. Bolton giving to Schmidt, who goes to O'Loughlin. And he can line them up, but he's in there. Carlton and the West Coast Eagles will come back to the Swans and whether you think they'll make the finals this season after the O'Loughlin kick. Which is a little ragged, but it's good enough. The 50's up. Paul Ruse. Mr Smooth, I think we called him in the opener. Gets to you all eventually. Line, line, line! Hey, stay, hold it there! Of course, they've been seven and five after 12 rounds in the last couple of years, so they, they are fast finishers, the Swans. They're coming from further back this time. Barry Hall is able to shake Wakeland for one of the rare occasions of the night. And I think Wakeland might have got some cramp just as the ball arrived. So this won't bring much joy for the Sydney fans or Barry Hall. But the margin will be a lot closer than probably the contest has been in fairness over the night if Barry Hall can convert to reduce it to 19 points. Barry Hall has kicked just one goal one for the night. Immaculate kick, but it matters little. Collingwood have travelled on a debut night for a young 19-year-old Irishman, and they have triumphed in extremely impressive fashion and won by 19.